Hello, everyone. This is Patrick and Bryson with Stone Security. Uh, today's webisode, we are going to be looking at um, within the milestone management client, uh, two different things. The first is going to be uh, PTZ presets. And also we're going to go over the PTZ default go to position when on idle. Uh, without further ado, uh, support engineer Bryson Higgins will go through those. Perfect. Thank you so much, Patrick. All right. So, yeah. So to get started with this, we're going to want to open up the management client. So I'll just go ahead and get connected here to my local one. So once you're in the management client, uh, you're going to want to go to the PTZ that you, you have. So I'll just go here to cameras and find my PTZ. And then I'm going to want to go to the preset section down here on the lower ribbon here. And then from here, I'll be able to manage my presets, create new presets, as well as pull down presets from the device. So I have a couple options here. The first option is use presets from the device. So if I were to check this right here, I would then click get. And what this is going to do is it's going to pull presets that are configured on the camera itself. Um, so this is stuff that you've configured on the web page. Any, but if you do this, any presets that you've already manually created inside the management client will be deleted. So just be careful what you want to do. So by default, the camera itself only has a home position that's defined on the web page. And that home position is actually the home position that activates um, no matter what. So even if we don't pull these presets from the device here, if you're in the milestone smart client here, whenever you hit the home button here, that's where it's going to go to is that home position that's on the device itself. You can't define this home position inside of milestone. That's not that's a little bit different there. So it's actually defined on the web page here. So here's the web page here, and this is where we would configure this is actually on the device itself. So um, so if I don't want to pull the device, the presets down, which I don't recommend doing all the time, um, I actually like creating my presets inside of Milestone. And the reason for this is I can do a little bit more stuff with them and I have the ability to edit them on the fly inside the smart client as well as in the management client without having to go directly to the camera. Um, again, though, just make sure you set up your home position inside the web page or else it won't work uh, the way that you want it to regardless of what your default preset is. And I'll explain that further. As I continue, so I'm going to go ahead and hit new preset here. And this is what this is going to let me do is it's going to make pull up a window here where I can then navigate the camera. I can move the camera around um, up and down. My tilt is right here on the left side, so I can go up and down here. I can go left or right uh, by using this over here, and then I can zoom in and out with this the top section up here. As you can see, I also have the ability to click around in the window too, and that'll actually move the PTZ around as well wherever I click. I can also use my arrows here as well, however you want to do it, whatever makes the most sense to you. So I can go ahead, find the position that I want the camera to sit, then I'll come ahead and I'll give it a name. This is going to be oops, the north entry here and I can go ahead and I can put a description on this if I want to describe what this preset is looking at or anything like that but that's optional for the most part I'll, I'll want a um, a name though at least so then I can go ahead and hit add and you'll notice here that it doesn't leave the window or anything like that I can now actually create a second preset um, if I was done I'd go ahead and hit OK but let's say I want to keep going on here so I'll make another preset Let's go ahead and just move this over to this way and we'll just call this west wall right here just looking at that west wall there and we'll go ahead and hit add make sure you hit add that second time and then you want to hit okay and you notice here it pulled down my north entry and my west wall um, presets right there now i actually want to create one more preset in here and i'm going to do that home position one so that i can actually tell milestone to use this so i'm going to go ahead and call this my uh, home so I did that by clicking the home button here and this activates the home on the device itself and I'm just going to create this in it myself. So I go ahead and hit OK. So now I have my three presets here and I can reorganize these however I want. I can move them up and down the list. So I'm going to go ahead and move home up to the top and I'm going to define that as the default preset. You'll see there'll be a little checkbox on this preset right here that that's the default preset. You can only have one default preset though. So if I change it to this one here, that checkbox moves to there and this no longer is the default preset. So and that comes in handy for the rules that we'll make at the end of this. So I have my presets made there and I can if I need to edit them or change them, I can go ahead and hit edit. I can activate them from right here as well, too. So I can go ahead and click them. Just make sure they're what I want and say this one's not what I want it to be. Go ahead and hit edit, move it over just a tad. 
and uh, and then hit OK. And I've now saved that new preset there in that new position that I wanted it to be. So you'll notice here down here, I have the PTZ session. So what this is right here, this is defining the user that's currently using the preset or the, the camera itself, the priority level that they have and the timeout that's left on it and whether or not it's a reserve session. So these things are kind of default set within your, your system here. And these settings that are defined down here for the timeout for manual PT session, timeout for uh, pause patrolling, these things are here. This is for the this individual camera. To actually edit these sessions or these settings uh, system wide, you actually would do that in tools and options. I'll just show that really quick. Um, my options windows takes a second to load though for some reason, but basically what these settings do, so for the timeout for manual PTZ session, what this does is this is just basically the priority levels timeout. So when I move this PTZ, so if I were to go to uh, the north entry, um, do it here, if I were to go to the uh, move the camera here and then go back into here, now it finally opened. <laughs> Oh, geez, I'm all over the place right now. But so these are those settings here. This is for the entire session here. So if I were to move the camera, you'll see here that it's down here. This is my timeout right here. If anyone else with higher or uh, with lower priority than me tries to use the, the PTZ, they will not be able to use it until my timeout has timed out on the on the session that I have. And so by default, the system timeout for manual PTZ sessions is 15 seconds. And then the timeout for pausing patrols is 10 minutes. And then a time for reserving sessions is one hour. And you can do all this in the milestone manage or in the milestone smart client. So that's where those settings can be found. And you can adjust them per PTZ camera in the preset section of the device itself. So um, so what I'm gonna want to do here though, after I've gotten all this stuff configured on the camera itself, what I'll want to do is go to my rules over here. And this is where I'm going to define what the PTZ does at the end of a manual PTZ session. By default, in everyone's milestone installation, you will have this rule turned off, but it'll be in your system. It says default go to preset when PTZ is done rule. So what we can do is we can go ahead and we can edit this rule and we can change it so that we can uh, make it a little bit more customized to us. So this says when the PTZ manual session has stopped from all cameras, move immediately to the default pre preset position on the device which it occurred at this priority level. So we can specify this that instead of immediately we want it to do maybe uh, a few seconds or so or maybe a minute or so or something like that. Let's do uh, 10 seconds on here. So 10 seconds after PTZ manual session has stopped, then it's going to move to the default pre preset position, which we defined in the preset section of that camera. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit finish here on this rule and we're going to go ahead and activate it. What is the standard it. on that usually, Bryson? It's it's variable. I would okay. say a lot of people sometimes do uh, around a minute or a, 30 seconds to a minute, but it, it really gotcha. depends on your organization and, and what you guys want. Now, if you okay. have active guards at your facility or you have people that are act actively using your PTZ sessions, uh, they may want it to be increased so they can move the camera and point it at something and not have to worry about it moving back quickly and then having to move it back over there um so it. It, it's it's really de dependent upon each individual's uh circumstances so so once okay, we have thanks. this configured here yeah absolutely so once we have this configured here go ahead and make sure we save our changes so then if we go into here and we go to our north entry here and i go ahead and i activate that once this times out here, then our, in 10 seconds, this will then move back. So again, this is going to keep into, a sec, uh, into account our timeout session because it's technically not idle until our timeout has occurred. And so then once we reach zero here, within 10 seconds, this will then move back to that home position. And there we go. So now it's moved back right there for me. And you'll see here that the system was the one that made that change at one priority level. So there you go. Um, the other way you can also edit presets as well, just briefly here, you can actually do it here inside the uh, smart client software. If you're on the PTZ camera, you can click PTZ. And then down here, you have the options to manage PTZ presets. And here you'll see those presets in here. You'll see two homes because it's pulling down that home position from the camera there, but they both should be the same thing. It's going to be a little bit uh, convoluted in that aspect, but it's the only way to be able to get it to uh, for that rule to work on that way. So, but we can also come in here and we can move our preset around and save it. We can also create new presets all in the smart client as well. So if they have the rights to that. 
that's pretty much it on PTZ presets. Very cool. Well, if anybody has any questions on getting their PTZ set up, um, always reach out to our support team um, anytime. It's support at stonesecurity.net. Thank you, Bryson, and uh, everybody have a great day.